Hello and welcome back to another Touring Teacher Lesson video. Today we're going to be learning all about Kennings and Kennings poetry. This was actually a suggestion from a teacher who lives in Victoria in Australia. Her name is Erin Rennick and she teaches grade 3 and 4. So this is for you and your class and for everyone else who's wanting to learn about Kennings. And if you have a suggestion for a touring teacher video idea, just let me know. All right, let's get learning. Okay, we're gonna be learning what a kenning is and how to use it in our writing. So first of all, let's break down what actually is a kenning. Kennings are used when writing poetry. It is when you take a one word noun, which is a naming word, and turn it into a two word saying. Kennings originally came from the Anglo-Saxon era. They would call their swords Deathmaker or Harmbringer. Oh my. It adds more description and paints a detailed picture with our words. Kennings can be used to describe everyday nouns like people, places, animals or objects. And we use two words to describe that noun. Here are some examples of some one word nouns and some kennings to describe them. Animals. Instead of saying cat, we could have purr maker. Instead of saying dog, we could have tail chaser. Instead of elephant, we could have ground shaker. And instead of giraffe, we could have neck stretcher. What do you think would be a good kenning for the word mouse? Have a think. That's a good one. All right, let's look at the next list. For people, so these are different types of jobs. Instead of teacher, we could have knowledge provider. That's me, I'm the knowledge provider. <laughs> Instead of nurse, we could have sick healer. Instead of director, we could have entertainment maker. And instead of baker, we could have tummy filler. I quite like that one. What kenning could you use for the job title author? Awesome. All right, let's go on to the next list. We have objects. Instead of bottle, we could write liquid holder. Chair could be bottom rester. Car could be people mover. And phone could be distance talker. What kenning would you use for the word shoe? Excellent choice. Okay, I have got a poem example where I have used kennings instead of the one word noun. And it's a little bit of a riddle. So I'm gonna read it out loud and see if you can figure out what animal I am talking about. I am a cheese eater, floor scuttler, hole maker, tiny squeaker, cat escaper. What am I? An elephant, no, a mouse, you got it. Okay, here is a whole list of kennings that I have written about one specific place. I want you to pause the video, look at all the kennings that I've written and see if you can figure out where I am. Pause the video now and I'll see you after. You guessed correctly, I was at the zoo. Well done, you smarty pants. So let's have a closer look at which those kennings were describing. Firstly, tree swingers are monkeys, branch eaters are giraffes, water divers, seal, night walkers, kiwi, grub munchers, lemur, rope climbers, orangutan, ice bathers, polar bear, ground shakers, elephant, mammal carers, zookeepers, Habitat Gawkers, Tourists. Okay, you have had a lot of experience now with kennings. You've been able to hear them, see them, and you've come up with some of your own. It is now your turn to come up with your own kennings poems. So yours can be just like my riddle poem that I wrote about the mouse, or you could do one just like I did about the zoo. Here are the instructions on what you need to do. Number one, choose a topic. Number two, come up with 10 one word nouns to do with that topic. Number three, turn each noun into a two word phrase, a kenning. List your 10 kennings underneath each other. Read it out loud to see if it makes sense. 
make any changes that you need, read it to someone else to see if they can guess the topic, and most importantly, when we're doing our learning, have fun. So, it's time for you to start writing now, and if you need any help, you can go back in the video and look at the different kennings that we have come up with. So, you have fun writing, and remember on the Touring Teacher YouTube channel, there are plenty of lesson videos for you guys at home in lots of different curriculum areas. So, you have fun, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye!